Great morning sales teams and welcome to Yossum. My name is Emma Monroe and I'm the creator of this Yossum format. I'm so excited to be able to bring you both Anoop and Chell and our guest speaker Tess Walls today. Anoop, I'm going to hand it over to you now. Thanks Emma. Okay, welcome to uh, this morning's session. Um, it's great to be back on the air with you guys. Um, as promised, we've got a great speaker. Unfortunately, what we did have planned, that lady fell through, but I have somebody just as good who was, um, who was uh, uh, going to actually be speaking next week, but we've got her on today. So welcome on board, Tess. Um, it's great to have you on, um, on the panel. Hello, Tess. Sorry, Anoop, you cut out there. That's okay. I just said welcome. Did you hear much of what I just said? This is a really bad line. You're cutting out. I can't. I can't hear you very well at all. Great morning sales teams and welcome to Yossum. My name is Emma Monroe and I am the creator of Yossum. I'm so excited to be able to bring you. At both Anoop and Chell, our Australian Sales Manager, and our guest speaker today, Tess Walls. Anoop, I'll hand it over to you. Right, thanks for that, Emma. And um, welcome aboard, uh, Tess. It's great to have you today. Thank you. Great to be okay, here. So, great. So, as promised, we've got a guest speaker on today. We've got Tess Walls. Um, Tess Walls is a, is a dear friend and is also um, a client of ours. Um, and I've done a fair bit of work with Tess. Uh, so just a brief background on, on Tess's uh, business. She's in the wholesale um, beauty market and she's had some amazing growth over the number of the uh, last couple of years and um, that's why we've got her on the panel to actually discuss uh, your success story, Tess. So can you give us a bit of a background and a bit, uh, bio on yourself? Uh, sure. Uh, I've been in the beauty industry for 19 years. Uh, 11 years ago, I stepped out into the distribution business and um, six years ago, I started my own skincare import company. So we import products from Europe and distribute it to beauty salons and day spas. Uh, the product's called Germaine de Cappuccini. Great. So we've got that up online at the moment. So if you're Excellent. following us online, so we've got your webpage uh, bright and uh, ready. So, so Tess, explain to me, um, when you started off the business, um, it was just you on your own? Yes, it was. Yep. Uh, myself and, and my husband. I shouldn't exclude him, but uh, pretty <laughs> much I, I was working the business full time. Yeah. So tell me, um, uh, how, how did you get started as far as you had, you had experience and understanding of the industry? Yes. But what motivated you to get out and say, okay, I can do my own product and I can sell my own product that I want to bring in? Um, I think the main thing that motivated me was uh, the need for customer service, great customer service uh, within, within our industry. Uh, I just felt that there was a lack of that um, and uh, there was also room within the market for another fantastic product and um, something that uh, I, I went looking for. So I went over there and, and searched out a product to then bring into Australia. So what were some of the challenges you had starting off uh, bringing in a product the Australian market knew nothing about? Yes. Uh, you're, you're dealing with Europeans and the Spanish. Yes. Um, so not, not, not only are you selling to the Australian market a product they don't know, but you're also yeah. convincing and trying to sell to the Spaniards to say, give me your product and I'll sell it to a market that you've never had any representation for. Absolutely. Um, we faced a lot of challenges in the beginning and it was, it was really uh, quite a uphill battle, if you like. Um, uh, we had to do quite a lot of cold calling, obviously, when we bought the product in and, and still do today. Um, and we really, uh, people didn't want to know about a new product that they have nev never seen before. And the Australian market was extremely sceptical, uh, I think, because there's been 
so many uh, skincare companies within our industry starts and then uh, close down after two or three years. So they really um, they were unsure about dealing with a product company that they'd never heard of before, and uh, there was no real confidence behind the brand. So um, that was my challenge to have, and uh, we we overcame overcame that by uh, I guess uh, just doing a lot of marketing within our industry to get brand awareness and um, really trying to get people to trust us, which the good thing about Jermaine is it really is results driven. So if you give them a demonstration of the product, then they they certainly were very, um, they received that very well. Um, the Spanish, uh, back to your question about dealing with in, and again, another challenge. Uh, we had the language barrier, and it was it was really it was quite hard to convince them to uh, let us take their brand into the Australian market. But uh, it was it was well worth sticking in there. Now six years on, it's uh, we can see a lot of changes that have happened within our company, especially within the last 12 months. But it has taken a long time to really get penetration within the Australian market. So six years you've been going through. So the first couple of years you would have been just pretty much knockback after knockback. Absolutely, yeah. I would I would say um, ninety percent, uh, if not higher, probably ninety nine percent of the people that mm -hmm. that I saw uh, they they weren't interested. They they slammed a lot of doors were slammed in my face and um, people would say things like, cappuccini, no, I don't need a coffee machine, um, get out. <laughs> so sure. I heard that quite a lot uh, but it was just, I guess, perseverance and uh, believing that the, the product, once people started to receive the product well, that uh, then obviously they would be dealing with a company that gave them good service and then hopefully then word of mouth would start spreading and that's really what we